Hi there, this is Viv's here. In this video, I will show you how to play with the increment and decrement operators and other logical operators that we discussed in the previous video. Now one of my favorite type of problems would be these type of problems that really twist your brain and force you to think about the syntax of the language. So how do we break it down? Let's go step by step. Notice that we have a multiplication sign here which means this is going to execute first followed by this addition here and then the subtraction here. At the same time A++ would have a higher priority of being stuck together before multiplying itself with this number here. So the first step would be to compute A++. So A++ turns to be 13 but remember that after this step A has become 14 here. So in the next step we have 13 for A++. We are going to multiply that by minus minus b which becomes 8. Then in the next step let's go further 13 into 8 which computes to 104 and we will have our plus sign here which I can simply write as plus and there is b minus minus. Now remember that b minus minus would evaluate to 9 over here oops 8 over here because minus minus b at this step was already 8. And this 8 is going to be reduced by 1 but not in the same step. It will be in the next step because b will finally become 7 after this step is executed. So I will say 104 plus 8 for now. And finally we have your minus sign over here. So let's compute minus minus a. So I will simply say 104 plus 8 minus 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 a now remember that a was 14 so minus minus a is going to give you 13 now this is going to be 104 plus 8 112 minus 13 99 and when you run the program you have 99 here so the idea is to track the values of a and b everywhere and go step by step evaluating one expression at a time and then taking two and then taking three and so on so when you see a problem like this the next time, keep this in mind. Now let's talk about the logical operators that we had. We have two variables, one of them being my age that has a value of 26, the other being your age that has 27. I'm going to print something here that is my age is greater than 18. And I would like to check whether your age is also greater than 18. I want both these conditions to be true. So I would simply write an AND over here by writing AND AND two times and I'll say your age is greater than 18. The answer is going to be true because both the conditions are true. But if one of the variables was 16 then the answer is going to be false which you can see here. However, if I remove the AND 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 put an OR here through the keyboard, notice that one of them is false and the other condition is true. But OR would still work perfectly because for an OR to be false, both conditions have to be false. Simple words, if my age was 6 and then I'm checking my age greater than 18, this condition is false. Your age greater than 18, this condition is also false and false or false is going to give you false. Let's run it and take a look at the false over here. Now notice that I cannot use the not operator on my age because it works only on boolean variables. It gives you an error saying operator exclamation or not cannot be applied to integer. So I need to either generate a boolean variable or some condition that gives me a boolean variable. For example, I could have a condition here that says my age is greater than 16. Now notice that this operator gets stuck with the variable here. How about we put some brackets here and indicate that we are trying to evaluate this expression. Now my age which is 6 greater than 16 is going to be false. Now not of false is going to be true. So the answer will be true in this case. Let's run the app and you will see true at the bottom. So hopefully that has clarified how increment, decrement and logical operators work. Don't forget that logical operators require boolean variables or expressions that generate boolean variables on both sides. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day.